So a few days ago, I was just minding my business, scrolling through Instagram, liking pictures of cute puppies as one does, when I came across an advertisement for a new something I had never seen before called Amazon Luna. Well, I decided to look into it, and in short, Amazon Luna is a new cloud-based gaming platform developed by our friends over at Amazon. I haven't really been a huge fan of cloud-based gaming and streaming or anything, mostly, honestly, because of latency and lag that comes just with the territory of streaming a game. But Luna, Luna surprised me. Hey guys, if this video is helpful for you, or even if you just find it entertaining, consider giving it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, maybe hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to keep some good momentum in 2022 with the channel, and your feedback through comments, through likes, through dislikes, through subscriptions really help me to see the types of videos that you want to watch, that you find entertaining, that you find helpful. It really helps out the content, and like I said, I want that momentum to drive us throughout the year, and you are a huge part of what allows me to have the information I need to do that. If at the end of this video you decide that you like Luna and want to check it out or check out the controller, you can find a link to the controller. It is an affiliate link in the description of this video. It's the very first time that I've ever had an affiliate link and it would really mean a lot to me if you considered using that link to get your controller. It won't cost you anything extra but it does support the channel and even if you don't get it, click on it because Apparently, they'll take the link away if it's not clicked on enough, so I'd meet, it would mean a lot to me if you did that. I really appreciate it. Amazon Luna was announced back in 2020, and at the time of recording this video, it's currently in early access. Basically, the idea behind the, the platform is for you to log in and be able to stream 1080p 60 frames to any screen or device that you already have, whether that be a Fire TV, an Android tablet or phone, an iPhone, an iPad, a Windows PC, a MacBook, whatever you have, you already have what you need to get gaming right now. And there is potential for it to support 4K in the future. The reason I say potential is because 4K was initially listed as coming soon, but the service has since said that it will instead focus on other improvements, so we may not see that for a little while to come. Luna works by offering different channels that you can subscribe to that offer a different assortment of games based on classification. At the time of recording this, there are three options in the early access. There's the family channel, which consists of an array of E and E10 rated games that are perfect for the entire family. That'll set you back $2.99 USD every month. If you want to level up a little bit more than that, there's the Luna Plus channel, and that has a couple more mature titles, uh, a lot of things from like Devil May Cry 5, Sonic the Hedgehog, Resident Evil. That'll set you back $5.99 a month. Or, if you are a triple A lover right now, Ubisoft has the Ubisoft channel on, on Luna. It's $17.99 a month, and it includes a number of Ubisoft titles like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry 6, most of which feature the Ultimate Edition, and a lot of the titles also include all unlockable DLC. Now, if you already pay for Ubisoft Plus on any other platform, you can log in to that account and connect it with Luna to access those games through Luna at no additional charge, which I think is pretty awesome. Luna does have its own controller that connects over Wi-Fi directly to their servers, but one of the cool parts about Luna is that you can bring your own controller. And that's what I did. And the compatibility is honestly pretty impressive. I connected both an Xbox One and an Xbox Series controller and had no trouble at all. They immediately worked as soon as I plugged them in. The same could be said for the DualShock 4 and the DualSense for you PlayStation users out there. Once I plugged it in, it just worked. Shoot. It even worked with some just generic controllers that I have just laying around the house, as well as keyboard and mouse. On mobile, I connected to my Razer Kishi, and it registered as a generic controller there also and worked immediately without any type of mapping. It's pretty impressive. It is worth noting that my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller did not work. So if you have a Pro Controller and you want to use that with Luna, let me know if you figure out how to do it because I couldn't do it. 
I also feel like it's important to add that the on-screen prompts that you see when you're using a controller inside of Luna will mirror that of an Xbox type of feel. So for you guys that are using PlayStation controllers, you might find that a little disorienting to see A, B, X, Y rather than cross, square, circle, triangle. But honestly, the controls translate pretty well, so hopefully it shouldn't really give you too much of an issue. To be honest, I was a bit skeptical about how playable the games would be through streaming, and I'm just going to come out with it. It's not perfect, but it is far better than I expected it to be. I tested out a handful of games from the Luna Plus channel, trying to pick games that would have a varying level of difficulty to play over a streaming service. The results were not what I expected. For example, I felt like the most notable input delay that I had through the entire experiment was on Sonic Mania Plus. I expected older games like Sonic to have very easy experience over stream. It actually didn't turn out to be the case. Now don't get me wrong, the game is very playable on my computer where input delay is only a minor annoyance. It's when I tried to plug it into my S21 Ultra that I was very frustrated at my inability to avoid spikes and different like pitfalls throughout the worlds because Sonic would just not respond at the time that I hit the, the buttons. It just He wouldn't do it and so they'd be a moment late and he'd fall in the spikes every time. I suspect that the experience would be near perfect on PC if I were actually using the official Luna controller since it cuts out the middleman connecting straight to the servers. I'm not 100% sure if that'd be the case, but it makes sense that that would be the case to me. Games like Abzu and Devil May Cry 5 played without a hitch, though it is worth noting that the first time that you boot up the game, the load time feels absolutely enormous. I experienced little to no delay on PC and really not enough on mobile to hinder my gameplay. It wasn't until I booted up Resident Evil Biohazard that I saw frames drop to a point that it actually caused noticeable lag and jarring in the picture. Now honestly, that's probably my fault because it only happened after I tried to hot swap from my Xbox controller to my PS5 controller. Throughout the rest of my experiment, I could not duplicate that issue, so maybe it was just a fluke. All of these tests were done over a pretty decent Wi-Fi or direct connection, so your mileage will likely vary depending on the reliability and the speed of your own internet connection. Amazon does recommend speeds of at least 10 million bits per second for 1080p streaming, but they offer a really cool option with the service where you can limit your streaming to 720 to both help out if you don't have quite the speed that you need to be able to stream, as well as if you don't have unlimited data with your package, then you can maybe help cut some costs by bringing down that, that resolution. Overall, my takeaway is that Luna is a very capable gaming service at honestly a pretty affordable price. I'm excited to see what they do later with it. Now, at the time of recording this again, every time that I have booted up Luna, there has been a new game for me to play. They just keep adding more. I don't know if that on-ramping of games will continue for the long haul, but if they do, this is only becoming a more and more valuable service that I think is worth at least checking out to see if it works for you. Hey. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I, I want to know, are you going to try Luna? Are you going to try Luna with the controller? Do you think that maybe this isn't for you? Let me know what you're thinking, and if you're going to try Luna, and hey, if you do want that controller, remember, I've got a link to that in the description. It'll take you right to it, and it'll help support the channel a little bit, too. Appreciate you guys. Hope you have an absolutely incredible rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.